And last episode, we pulled the head because it's going to be due for rebuild. And of course, here it is. We got the block there. We pulled it out. We got it in the engine stand. So already and we're inspecting it. And as we inspect it, we disassembled the head, checked it out. It's pretty fresh, really good, ready for rebuild. And because the che block checked out well, we sent it to the machine shop, got all the parts needed. And here it is freshly decked and honed the block is just like new right yep this is ready and of course the owner jumped the gun jules jumped the gun and had to support the head so we're porting it we're gonna get it ready all good this is gonna be an efficient engine yes we're gonna finish the head and actually we're gonna finish the whole engine ready for installing this episode yep you know it let's go <laughs> Here's the block, fresh from the machine shop, freshly decked and honed. This is actually just resurfaced like 0 0.003 of an inch because it was already flat. And yes, it's ready, it's all clean now. Let's turn it. Yep. Oh, so, so clean, ready for assembly, right? Yep, let's look at it. Look at it. Let's check the bearing saddles. Oh yeah, this engine is quite, quite fresh. Even though it's 205,000 kilometers mileage, this is still really good and fresh. It's well maintained. So props to Jules, to Jules and his grandfather and all the ones that used this. So we did the template for the head. This way we can match port the manifold onto the head. And yes, Jules decided to have us port the head. So here we are, but porting station. We start with the carbide and the exhaust, get the shape good. Yep, and we speed it up so it doesn't get too boring. All right. Yep. We start with the initial shaping on the exhaust with the carbide. And then we go with 80 grit. Here we are. All right. Yeah, start shaping it good. Yes, we speed it up again so it doesn't get too boring. You gotta use a face mask or a gas mask because we don't want you guys inhaling those carbon deposits. That's no good for our lungs. You gotta stay healthy, guys. There we go, getting closer. There, there's the initial smoothing after the carbide. Yep, now we check it, we invert it and go with the floor. Yes. We sprayed a bit of lube, this way it helps the you know, the sanding roll clean it up good. As you can see, it's getting cleaned up well. The shape is getting good. Yup, it is starting to become a good, good VTI cylinder head. Here now with the exhaust bowl. We're still on 80 grit, trying to get the shape good. So we can see it back because we can barely see anything when it's full of carbon, it's just dark. All right, yep. Okay, now on the intake bowls, right here. We hit it up with carbide earlier. Now it's on 80 grit. That's really quick, when you're, you know, as long as you do, do it properly with the carbide, you get to the shape that you want faster than just sand, sanding roll. Yep, not getting there. Okay, last two. Yes, yes. And there you go. All right, so now we invert it again. You can see the bowl now, it's all good. This is much like a Type R, right? But of course, we're gonna continue making it better, or making, improving it, so we're gonna keep going. Yeah, but those are Type R style ports, just the bowl blending into the seats. And a big fair rate needs from you guys. Hit the like button this way, the activity gets higher and the algorithm picks the video up and spreads it to a wider audience that helped the channel tremendously super appreciate that and if you of course you haven't to get a subscribe this way you can check out the videos on your own free time because you'll be notified when we have new videos up uploaded so that's gonna be good for you right and of course for the hardcore enthusiast we got the members only section we got really good videos including dyna tuning and actual tuning itself the adjustments and tips and tricks and engine building yep that one's for you okay now here we are with 80 grit we do the port roof, but of course it, it seems like it's the floor now because it's inverted. Yes, we time lapse it to get it quicker. Just 
start shaping it good. We try to maintain the curvature of the port because the Y8 and the P2J and the VTI, this VTI head has, promotes swirl. So we got, we, we're going to maintain that. We're not going to try to change it to a different one or, you know, we're just going to make sure this improves better than a stock VTI. So let it close. Oh yeah, it's starting to look good. We're actually gonna make a full video of porting this head with all, all of the de details. So we're gonna make a full video of that separately for you guys. So here we are on the exhaust floor now. So wait up on that when we fully release it, we'll upload it and show you guys. You're gonna enjoy that P2J VTI head video. Now the exhaust floor over the roof, sorry, cause the head is inverted. Yes, this is still 80 grit. As you know, that even though it's just 80 grit, it's already getting smoother and smoother. But that's because of the pressure applied and of course the lubricant. Yeah, so the more passes you make with 80 grit, it get it's gonna get as smooth like like as if it's 120. And then on the 120, if you make extra passes on that, it's gonna be like 240. Great, so it's gonna get you, you, you able. Sorry, you're able to get the texture you need and a smooth enough texture with enough work, and you would know it after some time. Yes. All right. Now let's see. Let me show you close. Yep, the shape is getting there. It's getting there. All right, we're gonna continue working on this until we finish it. And of course, we'll be preparing a video dedicated for this P2J head as a, a head porting video. But for now, let's clean it up. Let's take it to the workbench to show you guys. Here it is, all cleaned up. It's halfway through. We just, you know, initially roughed it up and shaped it. Got the bowls good, as you can see here, with better lighting. You see, we maintained the turn. It's, it's promoting swirl. And we didn't really hog it out. And you can see the areas behind the seat, you you don't really carve that out because that's core shift. So, so the more you clean that up, the more bigger the bowl is gonna get. So here's the super tech valve seals. We're gonna have this machined, decked and cleaned up. And of course, while we wait, we're preparing the pistons and rods. Here's the new bearings installed. We're checking the rings and of course we check the ring caps everything felt went through nicely so now here we are we've got it all together ready for installation yep now let's go back to the engine stand and the block let's get ready here we are wipe the bearing saddles get the new bearings on yes and then we drop in the crank of course assembly loop first drop the crank and then assembly loop again well, thrust washers first, groove side out, of course, I'll remember that. Now we hand tight this before we torque it in sequence. We hand tight. Yep. We're gonna get there closer. All right, that's it. Now here we are. Okay, it's 14, okay, good, good, good. We start with the first step, which is 18 feet pounds torque gonna be light click because it's not it's just 18 and we speed up the rest all right there you go and then the second step is 38 feet pounds torque let's adjust the torque wrench here okay, it's 38 feet pounds torque gonna be louder there you go all right we speed this up and to the last one Yes. All right. So that's all good. Let me, let me turn the crank. Oh, it turns light. That's pretty good. Wait, let me wipe. It's kind of oily. Oh, look at that. Even though it's oily, we still manage to turn it by hand. All right. Yep. Let's turn this. Let's wipe the deck. Make sure the board is clean before we install the pistons. We lubricate the rod journals. All right, now piston number one, that's easy. So this is how we do it. Like some people will put piston number one and four all together, that's fine. But that means you have to work on two rods at the, at the time whenever you turn the crank. So it's to simplify it, we do it this way. One, two, three, four in order. 
it doesn't, you know, it's not added work. It's just logical in my book. Third one. All right. Yep. Then the last piston, number four. Okay, there. Rod cap, oil it well. Because it's stock rod bolts, because it's bone stock, you know. All right. Now we target each rod, rod bolt. To, to 23 feet pounds torque. Oh, it turns good. Let me turn you guys, let me show you. Oh, that. Oh, the sound of brand new piston rings. So, so good. Yep. Now let me show you close. There's something interesting here. Look, we're going to check the deck with you guys. See this exhaust quench side is here. At top, okay, there, that was tap dead. Okay, let's go back and go back again. Sorry for the shaking photo, I'm using one hand. There. All right. Oh, there, the exhaust deck, or the exhaust quench. Because when you look at the head later, there's a, it has significant significant quench pad, sorry. There, you see this quench pad? That is really, really important. So you gotta make that work together with how the chamber is and that's how Honda designed it for good performance and economy. Oh, the oil retention in the bore hone is pretty, pretty good. Yep, this block is ready. It's gonna get assembled with the head since it's back. And here it is, look. Ooh, freshly decked. And again, because the head was flat, this just was just removed 0 0.003 of an inch or about 0 0.07 millimeter because it was already flat. Here's my colleague installing all the rest of the accessories like oil pump, the rear front and rear main seal, oil pickup, getting the oil pan gasket and then the oil pan itself. All right, that's ready, all, all closed up. Yep, now here, let me wipe the deck, drop in the head gasket, and then the head, head studs. Hand tight first, of course, so that it's all snug and ready. Then we're gonna do the torquing sequence. Just a few more here, there you go. All right, let me get the torque wrench. Okay, now here I start with Wait, 22 feet pounds torque is the first step. The light click. Okay, we speed this up so it doesn't so it doesn't get too boring. Alright. Yeah. Okay. The next one is the last one is 54 feet pounds torque. Yep, it's gonna click louder. Oh yeah, you can hear that, right? Yep, let's go faster now. All right. There, and here, we haven't shown this before, but to double check, we just make sure it clicks all good, all the same. Just just, just a click, you know, you don't have to over tighten it, just make sure it clicks all the same. So no head bolt or no head stud is left out. All right. Oh, now we have the block and the head made together. All oh, this is gonna be good, it's almost done, right? Yep, let me unclip the phone and show you guys. Oh, this is going to be so exciting. I'm so, so curious on how this would perform driving it because it's bone stock, you know. We just, you know, increased the volume, improved the volumetric efficiency with a ported head. So let's see how far this goes. Yep, this is going to be fun. Now, okay, let's go. Now, here's my colleague doing the rest of the work, putting the rocker arms on, the accessories, the belt setting the last tap and said so this is on startup it'll go good yes you cleaned up the plastics the valve cover new brand new spark plugs of course here fully gapped and all checked out then it's all finished look at that so now another 200 plus thousand miles is good for this engine probably more but this time with a little bit more performance yep so next up you will see we get back to the car Let's check out the engine bay. The car is already asking for the engine back. So, yep, on the next episode, we're going to have that on the end screen. But, yes, for now, you can click here for more good stuff.